In our last episode of Mastering Town Hall 9, we implemented the wall ticker, which is going to be massive on this grind for all the wall, but not only that, guys, we went into war and dominated with witches. Today is the final day of CWL. Can we pull in another win? What is up my friends, my name is Echo and welcome back to episode 18 of Mastering Town Hall 9 where I am here mastering Town Hall 9 or at least trying to and having fun while we do it. Before we get into the video today guys, let's, let's address the, uh, the big change here and that is I'm not using my green screen. You could actually see what's behind me in my room or at least uh, a bit of it in the, in the office. So let me know what you guys like better. Do you like the green screen version or do you like this version right here? Let me know. I honestly kind of like not having to pull the green screen up and down every time I want to record, but obviously we want to look nice too. So let me know what you guys think. But today is not about cameras. It's not about green screens. It's about upgrading wall, attacking in war, and then going in and doing some farming as well. So, you know, this is always so weird to me. I want to put on my base, my progress base, so we can do more wall counting. But when you go and do it, it tells you that there is a tree or something in the way. It's actually the tombstone. But once we remove all of the tombstones, we go back and then look at this. Suddenly, magically, we can set our progress base as the active base. But like I said, we got to go into war. And when we take a look over here at the CWL, I mean, like I said, over and over again, we're a Town Hall 9 exclusive clan. So we're not going to get the wins against these clans that have 10s, 11s, 12s. I mean, this one only goes up to 11. But, you know, in the past, a lot of the clans, they've had up to... Town Hall 13. All we can do is we can gain rewards so that we can upgrade our bases and practice hitting up at stronger bases. Or someone like me, I can call a base and I could attack one that I actually think I could three star. Here we'll go with one witch behind to continue setting that funnel. There actually were not any, uh, there were no Teslas that I was worried about, so it actually worked out fairly well. We're gonna go with a jump spell right here. And we're gonna rage all these troops in with bowlers as well. They're gonna take out that enemy queen super fast. That one jump has been set. And what we could do here is I guess we could jump right here as well. Getting all the troops to progress even further through the base. And where should I heal them up? That's basically what we need to do next. I'm gonna get one wizard going in there just in case, you know, one Harry Potter never hurts. We're gonna go with the heal spell right there. There is a giant bomb, not that it's gonna stop our attack or anything. I don't think they had anything in the clan castle, so yeah, that made my life a little bit easier. Tesla are on the back end of the base. We're gonna go ahead and go with a wizard here, a wizard here, and a wizard, uh, how about here? And we're gonna, we're gonna freeze, I'm not gonna freeze, we're gonna poison that king as we get up there. It's looking really nice, to be honest with you guys. I'm not seeing much concern at all for the attack. We're gonna get the poison right here, the skelly spell right there. That, I mean, it's not even needed because that king, that king's going down to my bowlers. So, uh, rest in peace, king. You can't take my attack. Witch slap is the bomb diggity. Let's go. And, uh, yeah. Popping the king, popping the queen. That's another triple for your boy. They can't stop me in CWL. Mid-level hero master at Town Hall 9. Let's get it done, guys. And I am obviously just joking. I am a very mediocre attacker who chose a, a weak base just so I could look good on YouTube. You know, we gotta have fun. Shall we do wall now? I mean, it's early on in the episode. I, I feel like we should save it until the end. Rest in peace, I have nothing trained up. Why do I always do this? I always need, to, I need to have troops trained. Let's go ahead, we're gonna go in by the air a little bit. So let's do a couple of Lunion hits. Quick train, another Lunion. Maybe we should even do a boost. And if we went to our, our town hall, which is hiding up here up top, we go to magic items and we actually use a training potion. Why don't we go in just with the heroes and try and steal some loot? I don't care about what league I'm in. While I'm looking for one of these bases I could just thieve from. Let's check out some of your comments. Thank you. Oh baby, 
we got a good one. A base like this is exactly what you want to find when you're just going in with your heroes. And this is what I'm going to do. We have plenty of elixir. We definitely need the gold, which is hanging out on this top part of the base. The elixir is cool too, but we have to choose, right? We can't go for both. Let's go ahead and go with the gold. We're going for the gold, my friends. King and queen. What I'm going to do is pop the king's ability, pop the queen's ability. Again, we're just going in here quick. They're already boosted. We're waiting for an army. So we're just trying to get some free loot, popping the king, popping the queen. Once they start to get targeted hard, although that king is already getting targeted hard, well, then you usually want to end things. And, uh, well, you know, he's going to grab a little bit more loot there. And then it's going to be GG. Good night, king. And we're going to get out of here right now. Running away, grabbing 260,000 gold. But again, it's just a hero hit. And it's good to just drop down in trophies sometimes. As a mid-level Town Hall 9, I don't really want to be too high up in trophies where the opponents are really hard. We could do this yet again because we still have the Queen. So I'm going to go jump back on in and this is really efficient farming right now, guys. So G, do you think my stealing loot method is like legit or you think it's kind of cheating? Whatever. We got a good one here, guys, and we're going to go steal the loot right here from this base. We're going to get the Queen. I'm going to try and get those two Elixir storages now remember my queen is weak all right she's not the strongest thing in the world so she can't take much fire i'm not going to get as much loot out of this base as i want but we're going to be able to get some i'm going to hopefully she can take down that archer tower before she goes down and she does and then as soon as the cannons start shooting we're going to pop her ability and try and steal at least one of those storages for that elixir that's going to be right now stealing the elixir out of the storages filling up our collectors up top and that's our our storage is up top it's gonna be good it's gonna be nice will she turn no she's gonna go grab a little bit more gold here will she turn up and go for the next elixir like i want her to no no she won't she's got a mind of her own she's gonna go and grab this elixir instead and what we're gonna do as soon as that drops we're gonna go and get on out of here skedaddle and she's boosted so she's ready to go back in like literally again oh baby we got ourselves a dead town hall 10 and i have to tell you it's been a minute since we've actually attacked a base with lunion so your boy has to remember how to do the strategy effectively i'm gonna go with one coconut loon making sure the electro dragon stays safe and then my e-drag i'm gonna pop my king and queen in over here just to try and set a funnel and then we're gonna rush everything into the core of the base skeleton spell on the queen you know how this is all supposed to go. It's supposed to go that way. Doesn't always work right, but we're gonna try. So we got the funnel being set gorgeously on the outside. We're gonna go ahead and go with the balloons. Heavy, heavy, king, and the minions. We're gonna rage uh, all of these in right here. We're gonna eventually be dropping the skelly spell there on the queen. We're gonna rage these balloons around as well, and we're gonna also have to heal them up. They are very weak. Got more balloons coming in from the outside here. Another Rage spell is going to be dropped, taking down the air defense. We're getting some troops on the outside. I didn't use any poisons for anything yet, though. I mean, I probably should have. Uh, and let's go with... I don't know if these balloons are going to get there. I don't think they are, actually. But we do have some balloons making their way towards the air defense. It, they're not going to make it. Oh, maybe. Maybe one. No. None, actually. Not even any splash damage. But we do have one minion left. Where can this minion get value? Maybe up here. Grabbing a little gold. You know, this could have gone a lot better. It could have gone... I'm out of practice. It's all, It's been all about witches. You know, if I would have had witch slap, I would have three-starred this base for days, right? Probably not. But it's at least what I'm comfortable using lately. The queen's going to dive on and grab a little more loot. We have a winion going on right there up top. The winion is grabbing some loot himself. Thank you, sir. And, well... We have some minions happening over here. Queen's going to dive on in. She's going to go down. Let's poison him. Poison. Uh, did I miss on the poison? Come on. Queen and minion, take down that king. Take him down. Oh, man. It was it was close. The minion's at least doing a little something. I want the minion to grab the gold storage. I got, like, no loot out of this base. That's actually very depressing. My electro dragon didn't get his value. And that Tesla is totally going to snipe out my minion. Good night. 68% one star and we're gonna do one more rage you know why because we got the boost going why not go ahead and go in with another one I'm impatient I'm gonna hit this base right here the loot is fair it's not the worst in the world but we're gonna go in we're gonna go with a minion over here and a minion over here no clan castle troops no poison spell nothing so the enemy queen is right ahead so what we're gonna do is we're gonna king and queen right into her face and then we're gonna just balloon the whole back end 
minion the back of that, and we're going to rage these balloons in really quick, popping the king, going with a heal spell right there. We do have the sweeper to deal with, which is not the best thing to have to deal with. And then we're going to come on over here with a couple of balloons. We're going to try and make our way. Oh, there's an Electro Dragon in the clan castle. Well, that wasn't expected, and that is not liked at all. My queen isn't going to be able to deal with that. I got no poison, no, no freeze, no nothing. My balloons are going to be completely ripped by that Electro Dragon, unless if we can outrun them, or unless if the minions can get in there and do some magic, which can happen sometimes. Oh, God. E-Drag. No. Took down all... Okay, come on, queen. Get them down. Yeah, the minions. We got... Oh, my God. He just took down a lot of minions. Since when did Electro Dragons become so strong? Queen, get... Popping her ability. Had to do it. Had to make sure that Electro Dragon did not take down my queen. We have loot on the outside we have to grab. I mean, the base already didn't have the most loot in it. And now... What a, what a bad day for farming with Lunian. It usually goes so much better than this. She's going to get a little bit more percent, but there's no more loot in sight. And she can't make it around. She's getting targeted hard by the cannon that's... A weak cannon. And an archer tower that's fair. Well, she get one scoop of loot? One scoop. Two scoops. Three scoops. She got three scoops of loot, but check it out. We have another Winion in action. Let's go, Winion. My Dark Elixir, remember? We talked about this in the past, the Dark. I got a Yeti from Super Self. Isn't that cool? We got a lot of cool stuff back here, guys. So I figured since you can kind of see it, I may as well kind of show it. Will the Minion go up? The Minion goes up. And again, I mean, the journey of the Winion, absorbing all loot from any base. And this is the reason why I like Lunion, because of stuff like this. But I'm sitting here looking at the number 178 on top of the screen, showing me that we have 178 wall pieces to still upgrade, and we need to cut that down. So let's go ahead, check out the loot that we gained, and go do some of that right now. Loot bonus for days. Since we're going to be doing some farming or attacking without my king, maybe even in war, well, that's going to be a problem. But... First things first, we need to get our king upgrading to the next level. That's going to take 38,000 dark, which is really nothing. It's going to take two days, 12 hours. Cha-ching, king is down. Now the question is, do I put my queen down now too? You know it. You know it. We're putting her down three days. Yes. There we go. We do have the books, but we're not going to use them because right here, this is the beautiful thing. We still are going to go to war, even without heroes. I don't know how the heck that's going to work, but we're going to definitely try it out and it's going to be fun. But it's wall time. We have 178 pieces to go. Do we have anything in the treasury? We sure do. Check out that juicy loot yet again. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to take out one piece and I'm going to do these five. We're going to upgrade here. Okay. We're going to upgrade with gold. Okay. So we're going to select the row. We're going to bring it over here. That was how many pieces? One, two, three, four, five. 173 wall pieces to go, but we are not done yet. We have more loot, more loot to spend. So let's grab, can we grab six more? We're going to select the row, upgrade it, cha-ching. Upgrade it, cha-ching. And we have six more pieces done. This is a great episode, but we can even do more. We have another two pieces. I had to bring them all the way up here to do them. So we're going to go grab those. We're going to select them. We're going to upgrade. We're going to upgrade those two again. That's a total of eight plus the five from before. We are doing some crazy math today and seeing some insane progress. So let's fix the ticker again so our numbers are accurate. What am I seeing down here from my silver pass? I'm seeing the number five. We completed some stuff. There's more rewards, more gold. My gosh, we're going to claim all this. Gold, elixir, dark, although I don't need the dark, and uh, that's it. I, we can't stop now. We have to do more. More can be done. We can't have this loot just sitting here for people to steal. So, with that being said, four more pieces are going to be going to max level, and they're going there right now. So, again, the amount of wall we did in today's episode is nuts, and we can't even get it all in there. So, we have to go one here, selecting this row, moving it over the, the way... Oh my goodness, come on. Wall just never moves the right way. You know, you would think it would know what wall segments I wanted to grab, right, at this point in time. But no, it doesn't. So we have to bring this piece back over here. The organization is real. And this piece back over here. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. 162 wall pieces left to go. Let me know if you like this episode and if you like the camera like this or with the green screen better. Really curious about your thoughts. But guys, thanks for coming through. Check out the full series before you go. Remember to be safe and be good.